What's going on, everyone? It's Taylor Kaus here for CLNS Media, joined by my buddy Brian Hines, special teams enthusiast, I should say, Brian Hines. He's been locked in on rookie kicker Chad Ryland and rookie punter Bryce Berenger. Now, both guys were familiar with each other after working with each other with the Senior Bowl, obviously both drafted by New England this year. Brian, what have you seen? Because it seems like the rookies have been pretty impressive. Yeah, they've been impressive. They've been hard not to watch. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, if you're in that same boat, but fourth and sixth round pick, you have to pay attention to them out here. And I was really looking at Chad Ryland today. Little shaky end to his Tuesday session. He almost missed one right, went in, but then he missed his last kick left. Looking how he rebounded after Nick Folk handled kicking duties yesterday. Pass with flying colors. I had him nine for nine, including three makes in the final two minute drill. So under pressure, under the gun there to get the kicks off. Cool, calm as ever, banged them all through, nine for nine. Looked like he maxed out from about 45, 50 yard range. So plenty of leg as we kind of knew coming out of college. And he's doing it all with Bryce Berenger as the holder. So he's been there all summer holding smooth operation as it's been throughout. And, and those two guys are really impressing to kick off their first camp here. Sign up at FanDuel.com slash Boston and get in on the action with $200 in bonus bets. Absolutely. I know fellow Bryce, you've been very excited about the punter. Go more into detail about how he's been, because he's been absolutely booming recently. He is. You can hear it come off his foot. You can see out here how he leaves Michigan State as the all-time Big Ten leader in, in yards per attempt. He averaged 46 at, at Michigan State. I mean, we're sitting over there ooing and aahing over a punter. I don't think we've done that since rookie Jake Bailey, and Jake, rookie Jake Bailey got that same response out of Matt Slater before mm. things kind of went south there. But yeah, it, it's tough to miss both of those guys. Tons of power in their leg and lots of experience in bad weather too mm. from Big yeah. Ten players. And in stadium practice Friday, looks like a little rain on the forecast. Should be a heavy special team session so we could get to see them in that rain, in that wind. First time in Gillette Stadium too with the new scoreboard. So it will be a good test for those, those rookie kickers. Yeah, obviously the Patriots had a lot of struggles on special teams last year. Kicking situation, obviously Nick Folk. We kind of know what he is at this point, but it's going to be good to maybe have somebody brought in who's got a stronger leg, which we've definitely seen from Ryland. And then the punting situation, obviously. Once Bailey went down last year, to put it nicely, it was a bit of a disaster, but obviously Behringer showing he's got some good stuff. Battling with Corliss Waitman, but I think the rookie has done a great job establishing himself. We'll check in with you tomorrow when we have that in-stadium practice, see if the rookies can build on their hot starts. For full Patriots training camp coverage, make sure you subscribe to our Patriots Press Pass YouTube channel, and for all of our written work, make sure to check out our website, clnsmedia.com.